All right, if you have a ball at home, that's great. You can use like a tennis ball or the ball that you throw for your dog. If you don't, you might have a bean bag. Bean bags would be fine. Or a hacky sack. We can use those for catch. If you don't have any of those, for indoors, you can make a sock ball. Just take a nice heavy sock, start rolling it inside of itself. The tighter you roll it, the tighter your ball will be when you're done. And now you have a good sock ball. That's good indoors. You're not going to be breaking stuff when it hits the wall or, or uh, something in the house. If you need to make a bean bag, get some beans. I'm going to use some popcorn uh, or some rice or something. Get, depending on the size of your hand, get something that feels good in your hand. That feels pretty good. Tie a knot. Now that's not completely round, so what you can do, take a little plastic wrap, set it down, roll it in the plastic wrap, and you'll have a tighter ball that's not as likely to break when it hits something. You can use that for your bean bag. Or you can take some of last week's homework, crumple that up into a nice tight ball, and get it the size of your hand that you want. That feels pretty good for me. It doesn't have much weight, it wants to come apart. So what I'm gonna do now is take some strips of duct tape, and I'm gonna go one way around the ball. And then I'm gonna take another strip, and I'm gonna go the other way around the ball. If I wanna add more weight, I would just add a little more tape, but now I have a ball I could bat this around, it's gonna be pretty tough. Uh, a few more strips of tape and it'll be really tough. So if you have to make your own ball, you have a couple different options, but those all work well for you.